Thanksgiving. I know it's a little early. Welcome to Branson, Missouri. I'm Christine Deaton and this is my cooking nooks fed up, fast, easy and delicious and today cheap. <laughs> We're doing Thanksgiving on a budget. How do you do that? Um, I'm going to show you. How about that? I hope everybody's doing well out there today. Hey, we've got a lot of things going on so we're going to get right to it. Take my specs off so I can see. <laughs> it makes no sense, right? Okay, so the very first thing you're going to do, first of all, say hi to Mom. Hi. Hi, hey everybody. Mom, <laughs> Mom's going to be helping. She's going to be doing the, it's called, it's, it's an apple walnut coleslaw. Wait till you see that. So, okay, before we get into actually cooking stuff, so here's what I did. We needed the turkey. Turkey's almost done because I have to start. You know, turkey takes a while. And even though I'm only making turkey legs today, it still takes a while. They've been in there probably about maybe an hour and 20 minutes or so. They're just, let me show you. Come on over. Look at that. This is just a matter of browning, but they will be done probably, well, they will be done by the end of what everything else that we're doing. So the turkey legs are almost ready. Okay, then I needed a vegetable. So I actually did two things. I did, a, we're gonna do the coleslaw, that's the cabbage and all that good stuff. And then we're gonna do our starch slash vegetable. We've got sweet potatoes, which I kind of threw in at the last minute because I wanted, I, we just, I just felt like, how do you have a Thanksgiving meal without some kind of potato, okay? We're going to do stuffing. You got to have stuffing for Thanksgiving. We're going to do rolls. We're going to we're going to do everything and we're even going to do dessert today. So, because I've got to get the cupcakes and the rolls in the oven, we're going to do that first. So, get out your bowl. Okay? Now these are these are my apple pie cupcakes, okay? Sounds complicated. Absolutely not. So, what I'm starting with is spice cake plain old generic spice cake because by the time you get done with them they're going to taste like you've been in this amazing gourmet bakery trust me on this one okay and you know what i do i always keep the box nearby because when you do your eggshells or whatever you have boom 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 it goes in there and then it goes in the trash because we say here clean, clean as, as you go. go okay three eggs three eggs one and two and three 
And because everything in my kitchen is fast, easy, and delicious, everything, every recipe that I come up with, everything that I find that I like, I have to do it to my format so that it is very fast, okay? I have a half a cup of oil, okay? Half a cup of oil, three eggs, that goes in. This is one cup of water. Okay, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna mix, okay? And then we're gonna put them in the little cups. Now, when I do cupcakes, I like them to cook uniformly. Is that a word, uniform? It message. is, yes. And so if you make the cupcakes the same size, they're all gonna be the same cooking time. So the best thing to do is use an ice cream scoop, okay? Because that really, really, really helps to keep everything not only cooking at the same time, but they all look the same and they look very beautiful and very professional. And you get to do that in your own kitchen. You can, I want my cameraman to smell that. Mm -hmm. Woo! Does that smell delicious? Or yeah, it does. Now, just because, simply because the turkey's been cooking, it, it already smells like Thanksgiving here. So, it, does. it really does. And you also know that when you're cooking a Thanksgiving meal, guys, that there's a lot of prep, okay? Even though this is a fast, easy, and delicious, I still have prep to do. You cannot do a Thanksgiving meal without some prep. But the biggest focus today was budget, okay? So what did I do? I literally calculated every single item that I bought for the show today, okay? I excluded, like if I already had mayonnaise, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about stuff that I had to buy for the show. And the total came to $28.18 for my Thanksgiving meal. Did That's you guys amazing. hear me? Amazing. $28.18. Wow. That was literally from my drink, dessert, Let's see, rolls, stuffing, sweet potatoes, turkey legs. Turkey legs was the most, most expensive part of the whole menu, obviously, because, you know, turkeys, <clears throat> what, Thanksgiving turkey, unless you get in on one of those deals that the stores have at Thanksgiving time, it's usually an expensive thing. Now, I can tell you that in the past, I have bought just my turkey for my Thanksgiving table that cost more than my entire meal today. That's the truth. So, that's why I'm saying this is Thanksgiving on a budget and you're gonna love the menu. And the reason I'm doing this early, obviously you guys know that I'm doing a show just once a month right now. I believe that in January that's gonna change. We're gonna go back to doing the shows more times a week, which brings me to, I need people to be helping me to get to 1,000 likes on my YouTube channel so that we can do bigger and better things with the show because we have no intentions of stopping doing My Cooking Nooks Fed Up, okay? So we need you guys out there to tell people about us, to tell people to watch the show, and to just as their, hey, that sounds like my turkey, but I'm gonna leave it in there a few more minutes because I had just checked a little bit ago and I still want it brown. Okay, I want it. I want it like golden brown I on think the outside. Carol Boyer said she loves your apron. Thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. Hey, Carol, I need to hire you to just make me aprons for every occasion. <laughs> Mary, I think I'm going to do that. Carol's a great seamstress. <laughs> and Mary Warden Good says that she wishes she had smell o vision. Oh, <laughs> let me tell you, Mary, this kitchen right now is crazy. We also have, uh, it looks like Yvetta Dawes is watching with Hello, us. Hello, Yvetta. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, I'm going to shut that very noisy beeper off. It is annoying. It is telling me that my turkey legs are almost done. And you know what? Come over here, Chris. Let's just see how they're coming along. Let's see. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, they'll be, they'll be perfect Looking and they'll be done good. by the time we're done here. Okay, I'm almost ready to throw these in. Now, I will tell you that I have um, a 12 muffins here, at, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, and I really have enough batter to make, well, at least a good six more muffins. Okay, but right now, 
We, we actually have uh, just Mom and Chris and I at our Thanksgiving table today. So you see, you guys, you could have come over to eat today because I have so much food maybe and Jan so little people to work. serve it to. Yeah, maybe my sister can come over right after work or something. Okay. Maybe last time. So, so here's here's the deal. Look, let me. I want to wipe this because you know I'm pretty particular about you know what things look like and stuff. So I'm going to wipe the top because really and truly. If you don't wipe the top of these, um, it can actually make the, the little uh, muffin uh, cups stick, and you don't want that, okay? So wipe it up. Okay, and look how they're all about the same size. It's going in the oven. We're going to put these in for probably about 12 minutes. I'm going to put it on the second shelf. Let's do 12 minutes, and we'll check them. Okay, cupcakes don't take that long. And in this case, I want them out and I want them cooled a little bit because of what I'm going to do to uh, make them the apple pie cupcake. Apple pie cupcake. Yes, that's what it is. Okay, I'm going to throw this away. We're going to go over and talk to mom here for a second because mom is, you, you can see she's got the ingredients for her coleslaw. But before I have mom do that, we need to get the rolls in the oven. So mom, we'll be back in a minute. Okay. So you can do the coleslaw. All right, guys, okay. come on over. Okay, so these are fast, easy, and really delicious little rolls, okay? Um, it's a small recipe, and because there's only three of us today, I only need a few rolls, okay? So the recipe that I'm gonna give you you're only going to get six rolls, okay? So if you want 12 rolls, you got to double the recipe, So and, and, and so on, okay? So let's put one cup. This is how easy this is. One cup of flour, okay? I have one teaspoonful of baking powder. The baking powder makes things rise. One teaspoonful of salt, and I'm going to mix that up. Or I'll, I'll get another spoon that's not <laughs> dirty and on the floor. Okay, so take your dry ingredients, guys, and mix it up. Okay? Do that first. All right. Now, I'm going to take one cup of milk. Let's mix that up. Okay. Now, here's a question for you. Here's a question. Yeah. I can answer a question, I hope. Could you use buttermilk? You can use buttermilk because that would just give it a buttermilk flavor. Yeah, Absolutely. That's kind of what it is. And then I have two tablespoons of mayonnaise. You know, I have found out just recently that cooking with mayo just adds a whole different dimension to your cooking. I've used it in a lot of things. I have to clean this up. You know me, guys. Um, I've used it in breads and casseroles and things like that lately. Never thought that you could actually use mayo, that you could actually cook mayonnaise, but you can. And it is so, so, so good. Okay, so look at this. This is it. This is your whole dough or your batter or whatever you want to call it, okay? And then I am going to drop into what I all I did was I put some I sprayed some canola oil in here okay and I'm going to drop these now these because they are drop biscuits guys um, they don't have to be pretty okay do not have to be pretty you're just going to drop them in try to get them as uniform as you can okay and I'm going to get six rolls out of this and this is can you see how easy this is? This is crazy easy, okay? And then what happens is obviously it'll cook in the oven, but it will, they will rise um, because of the baking powder, okay? They will rise. And the flavor, and the flavor is so delicious, but you have to remember that the flavor, a lot of the flavor of these little biscuits come from the mayonnaise. So don't forget that two tablespoons. I may have even put a little bit more than two tablespoons because I like the flavor and I like the texture. So put, put in your two um, tablespoons of mayo and then you're going to have amazing rolls. And there you go. There's now clean as you go. There you go. And the rolls are going in the 
oven. So we're gonna put them in. We're gonna when when I'm checking the um, the uh, cupcakes, we will also check. I need my pot holders, is what I need. That's what I'm looking for. And you think I make ten thousand of them? You think I should have some around, right? <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna turn these. I was just gonna say. Yes, I make pot holders like every day. Ooh, those turkey legs are looking and smelling delicious. Okay, that's in the oven. So when I check the cupcake, yes, the cupcake, I'm going to check the rolls. Let's go over by mom. Mom is going to make, it's, it's an apple walnut coleslaw. This is a perfect fall side dish, okay? It's got the flavors of fall. So look how easy this is, guys. So we just got the, um, it's a tri-colored coleslaw. It's got cabbage, carrots, and red cabbage, okay? You could get the regular if you don't like the, the, the colors or the flavors of the different things in there. You can do, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to take that big chunk okay. out of there. Okay. Okay, so mom, you can explain what you're doing okay. if you will. Um, add sugar to the mayonnaise, and you have to really mix that good. You want to get it all through everything. So keep mixing it till you know the sugar is, is in there, okay? Then all you do next is add your ingredients. Yep. Your onion, your walnuts. Walnuts, yeah. You can do pecans or walnuts, but the walnut to me matches better with this combination of food. And now we put in the apple. And that, that is a good. whole gala apple. And it is delicious. Yes. Yeah. And mom knows, look, see, she's putting everything together. <laughs> she knows this. I mean, mom's that way too. <laughs> in the kitchen. Okay, now I'm putting in the sugar <laughs> mayonnaise. Okay. Now, if once you get that in there, mom, and you need more mayo, you can always okay. add more. But I think you're going to be fine. Let's see. I'll take this away. You keep stirring. I'll keep stirring. You keep stirring, stirring, stirring. Okay. I need a little tiny bit more. You're doing good. I'm going to get you the jar of mayo, and then if you need to add more, you can. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm good and good. I'm an, I'm a Mayonnaise you like mayo, so you can add. That's a, that's the thing, guys. You can, you're you're the chef in the kitchen. You can do whatever you want. If that is not enough mayo, you add mayo. There's no rule, nothing like that. You do what you gotta do. Looks good. It looks good, especially with those apples. Okay, come on over here while Mom's stirring that and getting that ready. We're gonna make stuffing. Yes, we. Oh, love and, the stuffing. And then we're going to put the sweet potatoes together. And I made, well, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Okay, stuffing. Turn your pan on. Get your pan heated. Heated, heated, heated. Do nothing in your pan until your pan is heated. And I mean, don't even add the oil until you're heated. That's how things cook the way they're supposed to, to the right temperatures. They don't stick. There's a, there's a method, there's a madness, you know what I'm saying? To why we do it like this, 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 and it works. So heat, that's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of oil because I'm going to, most of my, um, my butter or whatever, well, most of my oil is going to come from my blue bonnet uh, stick. In this particular recipe, I only need a um, quarter of a cup, which is half a stick, okay? Half a stick. And we're going to let that melt together. When the butter is melted, we're, gonna, we're going to cook up, saute some red onion and some celery. Carol says, I could have just the cupcakes and the salad. It looks fantastic. <laughs> And you know, I mean, each year, well, we've only done one other Thanksgiving show, but I wanted to do something completely different this year. Last year, we did a traditional um, turkey dinner. 
Um, but this year I said, what would people need? After COVID, a lot of people are still feeling the pocketbook uh, problems, okay? And so I said, what if we did Thanksgiving on a budget? Because we're far enough out from Thanksgiving that this really might help somebody still put Thanksgiving out and um, have a wonderful full meal. I will tell you, I, I don't know if I said it before, but the turkey legs were the most expensive thing. Each package cost $4.90. That's three big turkey legs. That's a great deal. So that right there, in and of itself, that is a huge savings for Thanksgiving. And I know, I love the turkey legs. I don't know about anybody else. And if you don't want to eat it like this, like, you know, Fred Flintstone would eat a big, you know, a, a brontosaurus, <laughs> whatever he ate. You can, you can, there's so much meat on those legs that you can literally slice them and put the gravy over that. So. And, you know, the legs are a good thing. Like, when people are alone, they don't want to hold turkey. They don't want to hold turkey, right. So they can have their Thanksgiving dinner while keeping them right now. Exactly. Okay, so right now I'm going to put, now I had about, oh, close to a cup of onion, but I didn't even use the whole thing. I probably three quarters of a cup of onion, red onion for this today. But I want the color and I want it to look fall-ish. Um, I had, I mean, literally about this much of a celery stock because... Mr. Over here, <laughs> Doesn't, not a big celery fan. I'm not a big celery fan either, but I do like a hint of it in stuffing. I, do, I, I will say I don't like celery in a lot of things, but I definitely like it in stuffing. Stuffing, I think, needs to have those flavors in it. These are the aromatic vegetables that really take your stuffing and put it to a whole different level. We're going to let these saute. Let's go back over to Mom. Let's see! Woo! It's beautiful! That will be, that's as good. Look, no, I'm going to take this. Mom will probably sit there and eat some of that coleslaw. <laughs> <laughs> I love coleslaw. Look at how beautiful that looks. Good job, Mom. Thank you. Honey. So remember, this is just coleslaw, the tri-colored, okay? And we've got onion, we've got walnuts, and what else did we put in there? Um, apples! Apples! Because it's an delicious. apple walnut coleslaw. It's but delicious. look how amazing that is. This is a perfect side dish for a turkey meal for the fall. This is perfect. And you know what, guys? It's going on the table. Okay. Come on. I added a little bit more mayo. That's good. You know about how much? <laughs> half cup? Cup? How much? Maybe, you add? maybe a half. About a half a cup of mayo. All right, because we had a lot of stuff. Let's see. Not yet. We're, we're Looking good. Minutes. Smells we're gonna amazing. Do about, I'm going to do about three minutes. Keep checking like every three mm. minutes. Okay, so here's, here's the trick, okay? You can make stuffing, your own stuffing, with literally slicing bread. Day-old bread is better, okay? But... When you can buy it at the store Absolutely. for 88 cents, 88 cents, it's already got flavors in it. That's what, what the heck? Do it, okay? But now you got to make it your own. See, that's the key. That's the key. How do you take 88 cent stuffing and put it up about 100 notches? This is what you do. Okay. So Elizabeth says she thinks that uh, turkey tray looks familiar to her. <laughs> she says too that she would love the apple walnut salad. Yes, you would, Elizabeth. It's okay. great. And Carol is asking, you will have these recipes on the website, right? Um. Well, I, I. You know what I'll do? If you guys would like a couple of these recipes that I'm doing today, especially the slaw. I absolutely can put it on the website. Yes, you bet. What, what of course, will happen, though, too, is these episodes will get uh, edited and put on the YouTube channel, which we want everybody to go to and yes. follow on YouTube, so yes. you can go back and re-watch yes. all of this. Always. All of it. Okay, so what did I just do? I added one cup of water to my sautéed vegetables. Now, here's another way that the flavor is going to go up that scale. 
I'm doing a half a cup of my low sodium, low sodium chicken broth. I have broth left, so I'm going to use some of this for my gravy. Don't waste that. This is gold. This is liquid gold in here, guys. I use that for everything. You could even use the low sodium chicken broth in beef meals, beef gravies. Trust me, it works. You believe me? Okay, good. Okay, so right now, all this is going to do is this is going to cook, this is going to bubble, okay, and we're going to let that do that. In a minute, I'm going to stick. Now, this is a this is um one little box, which turned out to be a third of a cup of cran raisins. Okay, you can use raisins, but the cranberry kind of tied into what my drink is today. So I use the cran raisins on this. So it's a cranberry cran raisin um, stuffing today. And once this is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and throw those in there. Okay, the reason I'm not throwing it in there yet. There is a reason. You want to hear? Okay, good. I'm glad you're here. Because if I put these in there now, it's going to taste way too much like cran. That that flavor is going to infuse, and it's going to taste like cran raisin. That's not what I want. I want it to taste like stuffing with that as an accent. So that will go in in a little bit. Okay, so let's see how we're doing down here. And then we're going to get over there. Turkey's looking beautiful. This still needs another couple of minutes. One, oh, two, I'm going to do three. Another three. All right, that's starting to bubble. Let's go over here. Your mom's saying the coleslaw is wonderful. Is it good? The salad's Are amazing. Good? good job, Mom. <laughs> okay. Oh, the, the ingredients. So, at the, kind of at the last minute of planning this, I decided you know, you gotta, you've got to have a potato. For Thanksgiving. You just do. Last year I made mashed potatoes. This year I decided to go with the sweet potatoes, okay? So, Chris, today, <laughs> long story, but he went and got me, and I said, just get me two sweet potatoes. But sweet potatoes take a long time to cook, so what did I do? I zapped them. It took about seven minutes in my microwave, and I got perfectly beautiful, soft potatoes. You have to poke holes in it so that they don't explode in your microwave. But I have two absolutely gorgeous sweet potatoes that I am going to take off out of the skin. Okay? Don't want that skin. That skin's kind of, it's too hard, too, you don't want to eat that. I mean, some people do. Some people do eat the skin. I don't. Even when I have a full, um, you know, sweet potato, I usually eat it till to the skin. But you, you know, if you if you like that skin, eat it. This is this is your your body, your likes. Some people love that skin, and I will tell you that there's a lot of nutrients in the skin, so you can do that. Okay. So all I'm doing with the sweet potatoes, okay? I'm mashing, mashing, mashing. Actually, I have a masher. So should I use that? Yeah. I think I sure. Use that. Why not? Okay. So I'm gonna put. This is uh, the other half of that stick of butter, so I'm only going to do about uh, half of it, maybe. It kind of hardened already because it's cold. Holy cow! I don't know where you guys are, but it's it's been really cold here. Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, so I am mashing this with the butter. Okay, look at how pretty. Nice mashed potatoes. Okay. I am going to put this in a different bowl and then I'm going to heat that up because then I'm going to put the brown sugar in and then the marshmallows and I want the marshmallows to melt. Let's see how are you doing over here beautifully. Okay, so let's get this in this bowl and then when we're done with it, it's going to go right back in the bowl. Let's not waste bowls and cause more work in the kitchen. Use the same bowls, guys. All right. I'm going to heat these up over here, and I'm going to do it about a minute. Okay, hey, look at all that leftover coleslaw. That's, that's, listen, this is a lot of coleslaw. By the time you put everything in, you've got enough for, I figured that this meal would feed about eight people. Absolutely. About eight people. 
All right, let's see how we're doing down here. Perfect. Oh my gosh, I just want you guys to smell what you mm -hmm. came out of mm -hmm. Oh, holy cow. That smells amazing. I'm going to leave the rolls a few more minutes. The turkey's looking absolutely gorgeous. Let's do three more minutes on that. This is working out beautifully. Put this away. I'm going to get that. And then, okay. So while this other stuff is going on. Tell us about. Let's, let's look. Let's look right here. Guys, girls, look, it's here. Cookbook number two, edition number two. Okay, this is my first one. As you can see, second one is much thicker. Okay, it's got 25 more recipes or something like that. It's got a lot more recipes. And it's got a whole section of family gems, which I don't even know how many people in my family gave me one recipe each. It turned out to be an amazing book. Okay, so special right now for $25, you're going to get my John Hancock inside both. You just have to tell me who am I saying, you know, best wishes or whatever to. I just need those names. You're going to get both cookbooks and one of these magnets, okay, one of the magnets, so you get two cookbooks, a magnet, and you get my signature inside, 25 bucks. Does not include shipping and handling, though, I will tell you that that's an extra charge, depending on where you're from. And then if you want to add another five dollars, I have made all of these holiday um, pot holders. You don't have to get the pot holders. It's just an option. But they're great. they're great. And they're beautiful. They work. They work. And, uh, you know. And they're, and they're handmade not, by... They're handmade by me. Christine. Okay, in my spare time. <laughs> you don't have any. I, I make pot holders. But anyway, here's the deal. 25 bucks. You get both cookbooks. Now, if you just want the new cookbook, it's 15 bucks. Okay? You'll still get a magnet. Okay? Because maybe you already have this one. But I would suggest that you get this and this. It's a great holiday gift. People love cookbooks. I love cookbooks for, for holidays. I love it. It's a great gift. So here you are. And also remember, you're going to have to go to MCN, www.mcnfedup.biz, and I have a cookbook store page. Go to that page. And please like and subscribe wherever you see my cooking nook or whatever like and subscribe especially on our YouTube channel right now we're trying to get to 1,000 likes our first goal was hundred we exceeded that now we're trying to get to 1,000 because that 1,000 likes things change for us with my cooking yeah, 1,000 subscribers 1,000 subscribers yes. what did I say likes Subscribers. Yes, but we yeah yes, we subscribers. want those subs. Yes, we need we need everybody to go and to like and subscribe on the YouTube channel because that will make a huge difference in our YouTube um, in our in our my cooking nook business and what we do with it. I I, I do know that after the holidays I am revamping. We're going to come back and I'm going to be doing more with my cooking nook. We have no intentions of stopping, okay? I love doing this. I really enjoy doing this and I love that you guys are with us. And even if you can't watch right now, we have tons and tons and tons of people who watch later on when Chris puts it on, on our YouTube channel. So just spread the word. That's the biggest thing is if you'll spread the word, we would really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll eat the whole meal of coleslaw. <laughs> Christine, that's a, oh, great, that's a great recipe. And Mary Warden Good says, yay to the cookbooks. Yay. yay. So Thank you, Mary. We love you guys. Please, please, please order the cookbook. And really what that does is, guys, it just helps me make the next cookbook. It really just helps keep this going, keep you guys with new recipes, uh, with my fast, easy, and delicious cooking. For those people who have already ordered my cookbook, I can't tell you how many people have written to me and said, I made this, and I'm going to try this. And 
one family that I do know has they they choose their dinners from my cookbook, which is really exciting to see, and they've sent pictures. So it's it's really exciting what has happened with the cookbooks. And I'm telling you, because it's so fast, easy, and delicious, anybody, even if you're not really a cook, you don't consider yourself a cook, you can do these recipes. Okay, I just want so, to show you. And Mary was saying, she was saying yay to the, not only the cookbooks, but to more MCN shows in the new year. Yes, we're definitely going to do, and we're going to do not just Thanks, once a month. Mary. Yeah, we we're so excited. Doing, we, we like doing the show. We like doing the show. This year has been kind of crazy for us, so we had to kind of back up a little bit and reevaluate. And I was doing several other businesses and stuff, but I really want to focus on my cooking nook um, because I believe in the show. I believe in what we do here, and I know that um, if we spend the time and the energy in getting more people viewing and liking and subscribing, that a lot of really good things can happen with this show. So we want to thank you guys who have been with us from the very beginning, like Mary, um, who come and watch us and support what we do. You know, this is our, we've been here since January of 2020. So we're almost two years in, and it has been a wonderful ride, okay? So, and I will tell you that Mary Warden Good and Elizabeth and Carol and yes. a number of them are, when they show up here in the comments, uh, comment section, they are showing up as anniversary followers now. Oh, they have been with so us awesome. All of you for over a year. Elizabeth, who has helped with yes. many of the shows. She's not here today because she didn't live here anymore. Well, that wasn't very nice. But anyway. Two years here. already, Mary okay, Warden Good mom. says. Oh, how okay. delicious. So, and we do, we appreciate every single one of you that have been with us on this amazing ride. You've been here for, you know, a couple of years now, and we thank you, thank you, thank you so yes, much. Yes, it, yes, yes. It means so much to us. This is one of our favorite things to do, and we love that you're here with us. Okay, we are 37 minutes into the show. I think the rolls are probably done. Let me see. I'm going to let them brown. They are done, but I want them to brown a little bit. But look how they're beautiful. They look great. They're perfect rolls. And when you get these hot out of the oven, put butter on them. Oh, my gosh, you guys. They are delicious. All right, let's get this stuffing made. So what I'm doing right now is this is this is cooked. All of this is cooked. And you can, oh, the smell is amazing. I am going to add, if you'll let me in here, make mm -hmm. I'm going to add some of my garlic, my handy dandy garlic, because I know it's going to need a little bit of that. Okay, even though there are some spices and stuff in the bread, um, I want to add my garlic because I like that garlicky undertone of, of this. Okay, in go my cran raisins. Okay. There you go. And now the stuffing goes in. I mean, seriously, how easy is this? It is easy. How easy is that? Just keep looking. Yep, right? we are good. on that. that. Stuffing is very good. Oh, it's delicious. It really is. You know, like I said, you could make stuffing from scratch. Oh my gosh, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you're trying to do things quickly and on a budget, sometimes it's easier to just do this and then you kind of make it your own now if this is the same thing with like the coleslaw if if it's dry if it looks too dry ta-da let's add some more and you know your show i know is dedicated to me yes but also like old people you know like me to, to do that stuffing and get a turkey leg and the sweet potato oven with an easy meal and then they'll have a Yeah, Absolutely. So that's wonderful. It because well and I have said some from the beginning that yes, we this whole concept of the show was directly for my Meneers sufferers, my fellow Meneer sufferers. Well, that's old. But there are people, like my mom always says, the older people who really can't be on their feet for a long time and they, you know, they need those recipes that are Absolutely. boom, boom, boom. 
and that have quality and they're delicious and they don't taste like you just threw and something you together. It toaster oven. Right, right. So my, you know, my mom, my mom, you know, she now cooks kind of like this because she's downstairs. If I don't make dinner like for the whole family at night, which I do a lot, I do yeah. probably most of the time, but she's got her little setup downstairs and then she'll throw something small together like that she likes. And so, you know, older people yes. need these kinds of recipes Absolutely. and stuff. And, and again, budget, budget, budget. A lot of old, older people right. are oh, on a limited. very limited income. Yeah. These so recipes, eight, 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 right, you, right. That's that's what, what I'm saying. Eight, how how eight, inexpensive, eight, 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 eight. and you can literally have some guests over, and the meal would have cost almost nothing for that's Thanksgiving. Right. Exactly. So am I am I right so far to say this is Thanksgiving on a budget? Oh yeah, yeah, I think so. Most definitely. I'm just re I'm heating this through because I put the raw. Um, um, broth in and I want to make sure that that's cooked okay I'm gonna let this sit here a minute I'm gonna add a drop of water okay Doo -doo. okay a little bit of water and look at this stuffing guys look how beautiful this is right. and again you take you take store-bought 88 cent stuffing you do a couple of little things with it and you have what looks like a gourmet side yeah, dish for, for turkey days. oh you have plenty like i said this meal i calculated would feed eight people yeah yeah eight people all right so i'm gonna let this sit and cook that through okay get rid of all of this clean as you go okay all right get those rolls out of there so you're going to be squished in there okay Let's see how we're doing here. They're still a little light. I'm going to put them on top. And then I'm going to turn this baby up. I'm going to turn it up because I want the turkey for nothing else. The turkey's done. But I want it nice and crispy and nice and golden on the top. Okay. Let's go over to my drink. Okay. So what I did today was, again, I have cranberry pineapple juice. A whole um, container. I think it's a two quart container of cranberry pineapple juice. Then I put a whole bottle of the sparkling cider. Cider. My New York <laughs> just came through there. Cider. And then I had um, some ginger ale because I wanted it even more bubbly. And I floated some oranges because those are all the flavors of fall. Okay. So we'll let you guys, cameraman Chris over mm -hmm. here and my mother tried to punch. And let's see what they think of that. So, the cupcakes here in a second, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with those. Mom, you can try that. Okay, yeah. that looks wonderful. Stay on, Mom. Oh, that's delicious. Right? Yeah. Can you taste all the different a tastes absolutely. of all? Absolutely. Mmm. And I, you know, I got everything cold this morning, so that it would be a yeah, nice dish. Yours, Chris. And I'm going to give it a try it. here. It's really good, Chris. Okay, come on over here. I'm going to make a cupcake for you, and then and I'll do these out. Mm, that is so, delicious. It is. Talk delicious. about oh, the smells. Okay, so all I'm going to do here is in my spice cake um, cupcake. Okay, I'm going to take out the middle. And I'm going to take out quite a bit of the middle, only because, where am I going to put you? Hold on, i got to get a plate, because I don't want to lose that, because that is gold also. Somebody will eat those, right? The middles? Chris? <laughs> okay. And then you know I, I have a little leftover. apple pie filling, okay? Just apple pie filling. And I'm going to cut the tip. Okay, and I don't want anybody... Choking on plastic, so let's get that out of here. And I'm filling that up, guys. Fill it up pretty good. Fill it up, fill it up, fill it up. Fill that up. Okay, there's the apple pie filling in the middle, okay? I took cream cheese icing, and I colored it yellow, half of it yellow, half of it orange. Okay. Look at that.
Fabulous. And then I have this, um, it's called, it's gold, but it's called um, sanding sugar, okay? And it just, look how pretty that is, okay? And all I'm gonna do with that is sprinkle it on top of these beautiful cupcakes. And that is an easy, very, very easy addition to any Thanksgiving table, a great dessert. And there we go. And look at that. There, look at that, Mom. I'm looking. Isn't that beautiful? That is great. And then I'm gonna fix them all up in a bit and put them all on the table, and there you go. All right. I text Jennifer, so I went down there. Oh yeah, please do. Okay, turkey's looking better. Let's get the stuffing. Let's get the stuffing. Look at this, you guys. I'm gonna shut that off. I'm gonna shut it off, but Mm -hmm. Seriously? Oh, God. What I like about the, the little store-bought stuffing is it's got the sage and all the flavors that are normally in a stuffing. You don't have to do any of that. That's right. That's good. You don't have to measure nothing. You just, it's in there. It's got all the beautiful flavors of the stuffing already in it. All you do is add your own little touches to that. Make sure you're adding that, that um, low-sodium chicken broth because that makes a huge difference in the flavor look at that that is just you should like look fresh. at this oh wow see that's good for look at that this is that i'm telling different. you this is going to be perfect perfect for that's anybody that's any that's any household oh it smells so good okay any household this is a perfect thanksgiving meal and you have everything you've got your stuffing your potatoes You've got a side dish, a vegetable side dish. I've, of course, I've got cranberry sauce. I've got the drink. We've got dessert, and we've got the turkey coming out. Wow. And the rolls. And we've got everything for $28.18. Okay. And that would be four meals for a this senior. On the table, so I want like, everybody to see my beautiful dessert, and I will get the rest of these. Look how beautiful that is. That's wow. a perfect... Perfect dessert. You should let everybody see how pretty you look here. <laughs> <laughs> Our decorations around. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, well, we're only getting started. There's a touch of what is yeah, uh, yet here to come. We go. Here's the rolls. There you go. There we go. Wow. The beautiful little rolls. And the turkey will come out in a second. And then I will make some gravy. I'm going to use the rest of my, of my broth right there. And then I will do the rest of my cupcakes. I'm going to put this on a plate. Let's see. What plate do I want to use? So Carol says she's watching while she's doing some stuff in town. At, uh, she's over at Discount Tire right now in Casa Grande. But she said she's going to go back and rewatch. Oh, great, Carol. Because she's missed you. a few points. But, yeah, you don't want to miss it, Carol. This is, this is it, amazing. This has been really fun. And I'm telling you, what an easy Thanksgiving meal. I'm almost done. We are at about 45 minutes, and I've got the whole Thanksgiving meal done, including dessert. Look at the little rolls. How cute. Oh, when you put some butter on these little rolls, and that starts melting in there. Wow. They are perfect, perfect little rolls. And I'm telling you, Did, this you is enough for, for a lot of people. Oh, yes, so, I mean, this was one cup of flour. That's yeah, from scratch. All right, let's get the star of the show out here. The star of the show. The star of the show. The star of the show. Look at my mm -hmm. gorgeous turkey legs coming out of the oven. Now, I want to show you something, guys. Hello, Shelby Whittington. Welcome to the oh, show. Hello, Shelby. How are you? So let me just tell you, come over here, Chris, and look at that. Mm -hmm. So here's the deal. It could get a little browner, but it doesn't matter. It's cooked. You can tell. It's, it's like falling apart. Okay? It's falling apart. This is perfect. You see that floating gold at the bottom of that pan? That's my gravy. That is what I'm going to put in. I'll probably, I could even use this pan if I wanted to, to save work. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, but that liquid is what you make your gravy out of okay so what you do is you pour that gravy in a pan okay let it heat up again and then in a little bowl you're going to get about half a cup of flour and water and you're going to mix it to a paste 
and then you're going to put it in that liquid and let it get thick, you're going to have perfect, perfect Thanksgiving gravy. That easy. It really is that easy. Okay, let me bring over the platter. Emily's watching from the boat. Said Hello, she's at work Emily. on the boat, but welcome, <laughs> welcome in. Wish you were here. I was going to say, I wish you could be here. Yeah. Elizabeth's right. watching from Nebraska. Emily's watching from the boat. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm just turning them around to get them nice and juicy. But this this is like absolutely perfect. You guys, look at these legs. And if anybody's worried about me, don't. It's This isn't going to take the shine off of Thanksgiving in a couple of weeks at all. Uh, <laughs> no, the fact that I get two turkey meals this month is yeah, not going to no, hurt I'm, my feelings a bit. Because we're going to have the real Thanksgiving. This is, this, is a, this is a do ahead of time kind of thing to show you guys how easy it would be to have a very inexpensive Thanksgiving. So don't let, don't let the worry of the holidays, the financial worry of the holidays stop you from having a beautiful Thanksgiving meal because look what we have here. There is so much look to be thankful for. Here. Again, I am going to take this pan. I'm going to take out that cranberry because I don't want that. But this is going to go right in the pot. Okay? And this has got just sage. It's got a few other little... And all of this too, I will put some of my my broth in there to get all of that up from the bottom and mm -hmm. that's going to make an amazing gravy yes right it there. is so you guys look at that mom i know that's beautiful that's okay look at how beautiful that, that is meal a beautiful is. table all right we're going to talk one more time about this and then we are done but I'm going to get some, I have to get pictures of this have to get pictures of my oh, table yeah. because that is just Beautiful! I'm very proud of my, my, my table here. Okay, and I have Happy Harvest, and I really mean that for everybody. Happy Harvest! It's here! The holidays are here! And look how easy, fast, easy, and delicious this was to prepare. Okay, let me get my picture here. Thank you, Mary Warden Good, and you have a great <laughs> Thanksgiving. We are so glad you're here with us. Okay, yeah. if you want the cookbooks... $25 for two cookbooks, both signed and a magnet, 25 bucks. You can't beat it. There's so much in this new book, especially. I mean, it's got a ton of recipes. There are no duplicate recipes, okay? So you, you're going to have, I don't know, 140, 150 different fast, easy, and delicious recipes. These are great gifts for Christmas. So keep that in mind. Go to www.mcnfedup.biz and order as many as you need. We'd love to get that to you. But do it soon so we get make sure you get it for the holidays. Okay, guys, here's my feast. Mom, thank you for making the coleslaw. Oh, and God. I think we've got everything out, do we? We have one, two, three, four, five, six things. We're, we're good. <laughs> there it is. That's All it, right, baby. You guys, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> we'll probably pop up on Thanksgiving Day when we have our big, big giant meal and our big giant turkey and all that stuff. But in the meantime, guys, this is an easy, fast, delicious, and inexpensive, fast, easy, and delicious way to do Thanksgiving on a budget. We love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. December 1st is the next show. It's the Christmas show. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>